Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. This is your friendly neighborhood Oxhorn, and uh, thanks for joining me this starry night and moonlit evening for the first in a new series of player homes from modders uh, that you can download from almost anywhere on the internet. So this first one is called The Tailgater by Melotraumatic, and what it does is it places this truck just south of the Starlight Drive-In. So let me zoom into my map here. Here's the Drumlin Diner, here's the Starlight Drive-In, and the Tailgater appears as this little uh, uh, trailer icon on your map. You don't have to discover it, you just have to walk south, and you can find it. And it's lit up with these nice Christmas decorations, a chair out here, a light source, some vault tech boxes, and a power armor station on the outside. And the mod author explained that he placed the power armor station on the outside because it was just too tall to fit on the inside. Now my one complaint about this mod, the one downside as far as I see it, is that uh, none of the crafting stations connect with each other. So the power armor station doesn't uh, share inventory with the other crafting stations that are inside the trailer, but that's the same way it is at home plate, and that just tends to be the way that player homes tend to work. So uh, upon finding the, uh, the tailgater, you can enter it by just going to the truck and opening it. The inside is beautifully decorated by the mod author. There is no workshop, so you can't build anything yourself. It's just a player home for you to enjoy, and it comes with all of the different crafting stations necessary to make it a fully-fledged little player home. Here's an armor workbench, and uh, as I said earlier, none of these workbenches connect with each other, so they're all standalone. But uh, I'll give you the grand tour, and one of the nice things about this player home is he includes a container for every conceivable thing that you might need to store. Over here we have a weapons locker and an armor locker side by side, and of course you can use these for any, any, any kind of storage that you want. You could even store your items in the workbench associated if you want, that would make modding them easier. But it is nice that he had the foresight to uh, place containers for every conceivable need and he named them accordingly. So we've got an armor and a weapons locker, on top of them we've got a cooler for ice cold beverages like beer, and then a first aid container for all of your chems. Uh, down here could be a, a big chest for chem components, and here's the chemistry station. It doesn't look like any other chemistry station in the game. He decorated this himself and then converted it into a chemistry station, and I think it looks really nice. Now here's a source of uh, clear drinking water, and it doesn't give you rads. So this is going to be a great source of water for people playing on survival, and I thought that was a very nice touch. Over here is the weapons workbench, and this is a bobblehead shelf. Uh, this is a shelf created by DDR Productions, I believe, and uh, the mod author gave him full credit in the mod when he incorporated it into this little player home. It's a really cramped space, but it's actually kind of nice and cozy in my opinion. He's got a toolbox down here for storing a variety of different tools, and then it's just decorated up really nicely with uh, power armor components and uh, so on and so forth. Now here is a refrigerator, and uh, you can use it to store food if you wanted to. And it's decorated on the inside with some uh, Brahmin meat, which is really nice. And then of course a little mini kitchen. Here's a lunch pail for storing uh, things like Fancy Lad snack cakes if you want. And then it's just a really nicely decorated cooking stove. Uh, as you can see, it doesn't look like any other cooking stove in the game, and it is a functional uh, working cooking stove. Over here is a, a collection of ammunition and explosive crates. You could store all of your uh, explosives, explosives over here, excess ammunition over there, and then it's just really nicely decorated. And then, you know, containers for every occasion. Here's a container for mods, if you wanted. And then here's another container for scrap and other parts. Then there's a nice uh, couch over here for lounging around. And then a TV. Now it doesn't actually work, and you can't place the holotape player because it's not a functional settlement. But, you know, it is nice and it creates ambience. And what I really like is when he decorated this section over here, he made things smaller than they typically would be. So here's the stereo. We can actually turn it on. And it's set to play Diamond City Radio, and then you can turn it off. So it's an old world looking holotape player from the pre-war, and it's got all sorts, it even has tubes, cathode ray tubes it looks like on the inside there, or maybe even Nixie lights. And uh, then he's got, uh, he's got uh, a stack of books. Now these uh, reskinned, I believe, these books are reskinned with a mod that I have installed, I don't think they come that way. Um, but uh, then over here you've got 
a place to store all of your keys. You can store your keys in this caps container if you wanted to. And then there's a nice uh, barrel for containing um, milk or purified water or anything else that you want to put in there. That is a working container. Over here is a big steamer trunk for odds and ends. And then of course a duffel bag for whatever you want. And then look at this mini safe. <laughs> it's just a teeny tiny mini safe, which is nice. And then a dresser for uh, just putting clothes or whatever. And it even comes with this hello note. So let's go to our inventory and take a look at what the hotel, uh, what the hello note says. Thank you for downloading the Tailgater. I hope you enjoyed this little home in the Commonwealth as much as I enjoyed making it sincerely melodramatic. But well, a, a, a very nice little note there. He, he's even got a bobby pins box that you can use to store all of your excess bobby pins in. A very nice touch. And then there's just a little uh, shelf up here filled with uh, decorations and doodads and then, of course, a working bed. So, uh, you know, I, I've got one character on survival mode. I haven't gotten very far with him, but I can already see the usefulness that a player home like this will be for somebody who just needs a nice little place to go to to retire and store his or her items um, uh, with clean running water and a nice place to relax. So there you go. That was the Tailgater. Next up is Trailer Life by Quaz30. And this mod places four new trailers in the world that you have to go find. Now, I have spent some time looking around and I managed to find all four of them. So never fear. Your neighborhood friendly Oxhorn's got your back. Let me show you each of these one by one. First up is going to be Trailer River which is right next to the wreck of the USS Riptide, close to Hangman's Alley. Let's go check it out. And here we are. There's the bridge that leads to uh, downtown Boston. And underneath the bridge, attached to this rusted out old car, is this... <laughs> this cute little uh, small trailer with lights glowing on the inside. So let's head on inside and check it out. Uh, if we can find the door, which is right here. So there we go, and as you can see, it's a humble little place, but the mod author has decorated it up nicely. Over here in the corner is a working cooking stove. Here is a refrigerator, which uh, opens and closes. Uh, a place to sit and read, an ar uh, a power armor crafting station, and a working bed. But the thing that makes his mod special is that the trailers that come with his mod have a fully functioning workshop. So I can scrap this if I want. Um, I could scrap the door. I could store the table. I can store all of this. Now there are some things I can't store, like this uh, stove is permanently built in, so you can't get rid of that. And the bed is permanently built in and you can't get rid of that. But uh, as long as you have the components with you on hand, you can build other crafting stations on the inside and mods like OC Decorator will work. See? So pretty cool. So there you go. That is Trailer River. The second trailer with his mod is called Trailer Dam. And it can be found on the map over here in the uh, northwestern section, just north of the Sunshine Tidings Co-op, you find Trailer Dam next to this big lake. Here we are at the top of the dam, and uh, he's got it decorated really nicely. As you can see, there's the Sh Sunshine Tidings Co-op, and here's the trailer. Um, it appears to be connected to this... Uh, this little device down here. I, I suppose this is the water and sewage system for the trailer. Uh, but it, he also created this nice little loungy area up here, complete with a, a, a patio chair where you can sit and take a look at the view and listen to the radio. Uh, and then the, uh, this is the actual trailer. It has a ramp that goes up to it. And let's check it out. Here we are on the inside. It's a little bit dark, but uh, it's decorated completely differently from the other one. This one has a working cooking stove. It's got another refrigerator that can open and close. Kind of gets in the way. Uh, this terminal doesn't work, but you can scrap it. And then a power armor crafting station over there. Uh, lots of decorations in the corner. And of course, here is your bed, complete with an alarm clock affixed to the wall. And like with his other trailer home, you can scrap stuff. So let's scrap the rug, we can scrap the refrigerator, uh, we can scrap the table and the chairs, we can scrap the desk, 
Uh, and But some of these things you can't scrap. You can't scrap the kitchen area. You can scrap the curtains if you want. Hey, take a look at that. Uh, but you can't scrap the toilet. You can't scrap the bed. Uh, and you can't scrap the power armor stations. It looks like those are kind of hard-coded into it. But everything else you can customize. Pretty cool. His third trailer is called Trailer Overpass, and you can find it uh, just north of the Cabot House on the overpass in sight of Bunker Hill. So let's go check it out. And here we are, look at this beautiful view of downtown Boston from atop this overpass. You can see the Bunker Hill is right over here. And uh, he even included this elevator to make it easy to go between the earth and the overpass. Actually, I'm not sure if this came with it or not. And he just uh, conveniently placed the truck next to it. Anyway, there's an elevator that you can use to get to the top here. And over here, he's just got a table with uh, apparently a, it looks like a sniper rifle and a box of cigars. And then here's the trailer. It's got this valve thing attached to it, which I suppose is explaining the uh, the water system on the inside. He's a stickler about making sure it's lore friendly. And then to get to it, you got to actually carefully go around the corner so that you don't fall down. And there we go. This one is really well decorated. He's got magnets on the refrigerator, another terminal. Look at this mini tank. Look at that. It's, <laughs> he's got a mini tank in there. A uh, safe filled with fusion cores and all sorts of goodies. A working power armor station hanging clothing on the rack here. A cooking stove complete with a bunch of foodstuffs that you can actually loot. You can loot all of this. This is the workshop. This tiny little toolbox is the workshop. Uh, and then a nice seating area for eating food. A fat man on the wall. Look at this really nice uh, refurbished photograph there and a working radio. And then here's the bed, it's a nice double bed, so if you've uh, if you've started a romantic liaison with one of your companions, you can take her here. And uh, then look at that image on the wall. That is a really cool poster of a ship back there. I don't think that comes with the game. I think he manually added that. It just looks really nice. And I like this nice touch. Look at this lighting that goes in there. Um, it, it, it's just a really nice touch with a little ship back there. And uh, like his other trailers, you can pop open the console and scrap away to your heart's content. We can scrap the rug. Looks like we can't scrap that or that or any of that or that or that <laughs> or any of that. Okay, if you want to get rid of a rug... <laughs> oh, only part of the rug. It looks like the tassels are still there. All right, well, okay, this one can't be custom. I mean, you, it can be customized. You can open up the workshop, but there's already a lot in here that you can't scrap. Oh, but you can scrap the beds. Okay, so let's say that you're a lonely man and you only have one bed. Okay, there you go. So uh, role-playing, immersion, and all that. <laughs> I, I, I like this one. This one's cool. Now, the final one from Trailer Life was really hard to find because it doesn't have a map marker, but uh, I'll show you where to get to it. So head on over to the Boston Airport. And so here we are. This is how my Boston Airport looks because uh, I destroyed the Brotherhood of Steel. But if you come this way and around the corner, you see this old bus that's been here forever. That's fine. And then there's your Boston Airport settlement. But if you go down here, look at this. This is a new bus. At least I think it's a new bus. But the cool thing about it is this bus is a bus home. This is why it's hard for people to find this one because it's not a trailer at all. It's a bus. And uh, you just walk into it to enter it. And it doesn't have a map marker, but I found it, and here it is for you guys. Uh, so it's uh, fairly spartan on the inside. You've got a sink, you've got uh, a bathroom over here, which you can't actually enter because it's cramped. And then a refrigerator that you can open and close. And uh, a bed right here, and that's about it. But like his other trailers, you can scrap all sorts of stuff on the inside to open it up and make it... Um, a much more livable place for you so that you can decorate it as you see fit. So there you go. These are the four different trailers that come with the Trailer Life mod by Quaz30, an excellent mod.
So there you go. Those are the four new uh, trailer player homes, and one of which is a bus player home, that come with the Trailer Life mod. Uh, next on the list is Boxcar Bungalow by Business Vulture. Now, what this mod does is it adds a new location just south of Oberland Station called Boxcar Bungalow. Let's check it out. And here we are, there's Oberland Station right over there, and this is a new boxcar on the tracks leading north out of uh, Oberland Station. So there's a weapons workbench outside and lots of decorations, including these, uh, which I think are laser turrets, Assaultron laser turrets. I don't know if they work or not. I don't think this place gets attacked anyway, so they probably don't work. It's got a cooking station, an armor workbench outside, and uh, then it looks like a dead body out here with a hardened sniper rifle. Now you find out later that this is actually the previous owner of the home, Alan. But here's the boxcar. Now, I know those of you watching right now are going, uh, but wait a minute, Oxhorn. The new Contraptions Workshop DLC allows me to build my own boxcars in any settlement I want. Why would I even want this mod? Well, uh, oh, skeptic, I have an answer for you. The reason is because the inside is actually fairly unique. Let's take a look. As you can see, the inside does not look like the inside of the boxcars that came with the DLC. It has this sort of vaulted ceiling with uh, a wooden ceiling on the top and these cross supports, which is very cool and very unique. It's also been decorated expertly. I love the way it's been decorated on the inside. Um, so you've got a small little eating space, uh, station over here and then a larder filled with all sorts of stuff that you can actually loot. Uh, here's a refrigerator that doesn't have a door so it probably doesn't work with a bunch of meats that you can loot and then a shower and uh, bath area. Here's a coffee cup with, uh, it doesn't look like the sink works or, or that one, but a bunch of different kitchen utensils all over the counter space here that you can, uh, you can loot. So there, I just looted some Mentats. A couple of nicely decorated shelving units, again, all filled with stuff that you can loot, including this little chems jar right there. I like the touch of how they shrunk the size of the, uh, the baseball statue and put that on top there to be tacked as a sort of little figurine. Here's an American flag, um, a little mini safe, which sadly you can't access. That's a bummer. You can't actually access it, but there's a, a drifter outfit down here, a little miniature vault tech van, which is pretty cool. Um, and then a working, or uh, not a working, but a television and a chair for watching television. Um, now what's cool about this is it comes with this terminal called Alan's Terminal. And it comes with a little bit of a lore. You can read all of Alan's notes and you can find out that he discovered the place right after the bombs fell and then some robots came and he, he died trying to uh, defeat the robots that were outside his, uh, his home. So now the home is yours. Um, it comes complete with a duffel bag filled with all sorts of goodies, some robot scrap, and a railroad flag? Not sure how the owner of this boxcar could have known the railroad. Well, it was 2277, so, and the bombs dropped in 2077, so maybe he was a fan of the railroad. I don't know. So there you go. As you can see, the interior is very unique. Now, sadly, you can't uh, build anything here. It's not like the last mod where you could actually decorate it yourself, but it is decorated well and it has all of the necessities for somebody who needs to have their own player home. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Those are six new, completely decorated trailer player homes from the Tailgater, Trailer Life, and Boxcar Bungalow for you to explore. Some of them you can decorate, but all of them you can make your own. What did you think of this video? This is a departure from what I traditionally do. Do you like uh, overviews of player homes like this? There are lots of player homes mods out there that I could do a review of, including pl uh, player home submarines, player home airships, player home boats, uh, player homes uh, in the middle of uh, cities, all sorts of stuff that I could show you guys. So let me know in the comments below if you liked this video, if you found it useful, and any suggestions that you might have for my future 
videos. Thanks so much for watching. This channel depends upon your subscriptions. So subscribe, subscribe, subscribe for more Fallout 4 Contraptions Workshop and mod content. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.